The Prime Minister Ludovic Orban has said the state of alert will most probably be extended. But a decision in this respect will be taken based on the epidemiological evolution. Orban will present Parliament on Wednesday at the request of the letter with a report on how his government handles the coronavirus crisis. Also on Wednesday, Parliament will debate a report of the Court of Accounts as regards the purchases made by the government during the medical crisis. In another development, Spain is no longer on the yellow list of countries with a high epidemiological risk. So people traveling to Romania from Spain will no longer be quarantined for 14 days. Many Romanian citizens living in Spain were preparing to return to Romania next month. The Royal Estate in Sogurshin in Arad County in Western Romania will open its gates to the public in early summer of 2021. The Royal Family of Romania webpage writes that the public will have access to the Royal Automobile Museum, part of the Royal Village and the park. The castle in Sogurshin is surrounded by a dendrological park of 6.5 hectares that has a lake and a pier arranged to its present form in 1830. The park is one of the oldest in Romania. The Royal Automobile Museum showcases several cars from the late King Mihal I's collection, which were brought from his residence in Switzerland. According to the tradition established by the late king, the Romanian royal family spends their winter holidays at the Sovereign Castle, the only private residence they hold in Romania. The Romanian Senate on Tuesday rejected the government emergency ordinance under which child allowances were to be increased by 20% as of September 1st. The opposition Social Democratic Party has announced they did not agree with the gradual increase proposed by the government as they wanted a doubling of allowances. The document next goes to the Chamber of Deputies, a decision-making body. Therefore, if MPs reject the ordinance, the law obliging the government to double child allowances remains in force. The doubling of child allowances was proposed by the Social Democratic Party and voted for in December 2019. But the implementation of the measure was repeatedly postponed by the government that claims that the budget does not have enough money for that purpose. The European Commission has announced it will provide 128 million euros to support 23 new research projects related to the new coronavirus pandemic. The money will be used by specialists to develop digital medical technologies, as well as to improve the way of treating large groups of patients from the whole of Europe. The Commissioner for Research and Innovation, Maria Gabriel, has said that the emergency funding for the Horizon 2020 program will allow researchers to rapidly develop solutions with and for patients. The medical staff hospitals, local communities and companies to better manage and survive infections with the new coronavirus. Now news from sports. The Romanian tennis player, world's number two, Simona Halep, on Tuesday won a difficult victory, 6-1-6-7-6, against the Slovene Polona Herzog, 46th in WTA classification in the first round of the WTA tournament in Prague which offers total prizes worth more than $200,000. In the next round, Halep will be up against the Czech Barbara Krejcikova, 118th in the WTA ranking, who on Tuesday eliminated the Romanian Patricia Tsig, 86th in the WTA ranking. Also on Tuesday, another Romanian, Irina Begu, defeated the Latvian player 9th seated in the 